Hey, welcome to the next part of our Coding with Microbit video series. In this part, we're going to be focused on audio, so uh, music, sound effects, things like that that we can create using the Microbit. Now, we're going to need a little bit of extra hardware for this. So down on the table, I've got a few different things that we could use. So just starting with this one. So this is just a standard uh, kind of buzzer that you might well have in school already with electricity work you might do or, or things like that. And this uh, will work fine for getting sound out of the micro bit. Um, similar, but a slightly different kind of speaker. This one here. So um, we've just soldered on here some pieces uh, to make this easier to connect to the micro bit. These sort of things are designed to connect to breakout boards. So if you've got your micro bits plugged into any kind of extra little boards or even something like this uh, basic bit, then these can be connected very easily. Um, but this board itself actually does have a little speaker built in, which is cool. So um, yeah, some breakout boards will do, not the loudest, but um, it is useful in, in making it uh, so that we don't need another um, piece of hardware to get some sound out of these. So, uh, we're going to connect this to the computer and look at creating some sound. So I'm going to start a new project. I will call this one Music. Okay, and we'll do this on an input rather than just playing all the time. Okay, so you've got a few options inside the music uh, blocks here. So we've got Melody. This is the newer piece that's been added here where we can actually sort of, um, we get a tiny little mini sequencer um, kind of thing and we can, we can compose a piece like that. Um, you could also here put individual notes if you wanted to do it uh, that way. Um, You've got some controls around volume and tempo, etc. And then down here, you've got some pre uh, written uh, pieces that we can use. So we start just with one of those um, music from Nine Cat. Now, what I can't do is to, you could normally press A here and you would hear it on your computer, but because of the way I've got the sound connected for recording this video, um, I can't do that. So I'm actually just going to copy it straight to the micro bit. So let's pair that. It is paired already. So all I'm going to do is click download. Okay, so that's now on the micro bit. Now I'm going to hold it a little closer to my microphone here so you can hear it. I didn't give it any way to stop playing. Um, so it's just going to keep going until it completes that one. Um, you could obviously loop it if you wanted also, if you wanted it to keep playing. So um, back to the program then. So that's obviously one way of getting sound out like that. Uh, let's just look at the, the new piece here. So there's some galleries here. You can, you can choose one of these to get an idea of how it works. So if I chose that one, you'll see this is how this is then put together which I say is difficult for me to do without being able to hear from my computer at the moment, but uh, I would just choose one that's already made, but you could tap these um, and put together your own uh, little piece. So I think you've basically just got one octave there, haven't you? And then you can just pick the notes uh, along the way and then choose the tempo. So um, we've done that one. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to download it to the micro bit, but then I'm going to turn off that internal speaker and we're going to connect up some of these other ones and see how it sounds. Um, so by default, the audio comes out of pin zero. Um, whenever you use audio, so play melody, any of these things, they will come out of pin zero. So you must connect your speaker to pin zero and to ground. So for this one, I can turn off the built-in one and let's try some different ones and see how it sounds. So let's start actually with this green one as it's got some wires. Okay. Okay, so we could do it that way. We could do it with our own um, clip wires and a buzzer. Okay. 
a little bit louder that one. Okay, and then we should just be able to connect it straight to pin zero here on the back and use this one. That one's a lot louder, but slightly dodgy connection, I think, on the wire. Okay, um, so really easy to add just basic sounds like this. Um, I always get asked, like, can we add like recorded sounds and piece like that? Uh, not without a separate piece of hardware. So we do have, I'm not gonna go into them on this one. Maybe it's another video um, to go into basically a, what is an MP3 playback board. So it's another expansion that you would need to add to the micro bit. And then really all you do is you copy the MP3 files you wanna play and then they come with a little headphone jack as well for the speakers on the little playback board. We do have some of those and we do occasionally use them, uh, but really I just want to look at basic sound here through different speakers and, and how we can do that. Um, so yeah, that's really all I want to cover in this one, just the different kinds of speakers and the fact that it always comes out pin zero. Remember that when you're setting these up, don't go setting some LEDs or some switches for pin zero when you're using audio because it will be coming out of that pin. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that, that helps you to get started within some sound.